Welcome to our lecture online. Another way in which we can utilize derivatives or understand what derivatives really are, we start with a function y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, and we're going to show you that, this, that derivatives can help you find the locations where functions are increasing or where functions are decreasing. For example, if you have a function that looks like this, you can see that to the left here, the function is decreasing, has a negative slope, and to the right, the function is increasing, it has a positive slope. So, not knowing exactly what this function looks like, I do know that this is a parabola that opens upward. So, to the left, the function will be decreasing. To the right, the function will be increasing. It will have a negative slope on the left, a positive slope on the right, and finding the derivative will help me find where it is increasing, where it's decreasing. Just watch and see what we get. So y prime, which is really the change in y with respect to x, the derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to, moving the exponent to the front, we have 2 times 2 times x to the 2 minus 1, minus 1 times 4 x to the 1 minus 1, and of course the derivative of a constant is simply 0. So that means that the derivative y prime is equal to 4 x minus 4. All right, now, can you tell by looking at this when this will be a negative value and when, when will this be a positive value? Notice that when x is equal to 1, 4 minus 4 is 0. If x is less than 1, this will become a negative value. So when x is less than 1, y prime is negative. And when x is greater than 1, then y prime is positive. Which means that here we have a negative slope. Here we have a positive slope. And this means that the function is decreasing. The function is decreasing and this means that the function is increasing. So you can see that the derivative tells you all kinds of things. In this case, we can see that it tells you when the slope is negative, when the slope is positive, with other words, when the function is decreasing, when the function is increasing. So, that means that at some point, when x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, then you know to the left of that, the slope is negative, and the function is decreasing to the right of that, the, function, the slope is positive, and the function is increasing. So that's how you can tell, by taking the derivative of a function, what is going on with the function. Now, this may not be the exact drawing of this, and let's check it real quick. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5, that doesn't look very good, does it? So if we were to draw the real function, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 goes through here. When x is equal to 1, it's equal to 3. Then it comes back up. So the parabola looks like that. Ah, didn't do a good job again, but you get the idea. So that means that to the left of x equals 1, we have a decreasing slope or a decreasing function with a negative slope. When it's greater than 1, we have a positive slope and the function is increasing. So there you can actually see the graph of this particular function. And there you go. But you can see also that even if you didn't have the graph of the function, you can already determine, simply by looking at the derivative, what is going on with your function. And that's what it's all about.